Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations. And for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads, watch us every week on Kazakh TV. The Kazakh culture has a long-standing tradition of serving us, served to the mourning community when a revered elderly person dies. The us is simply not to be confused with mourning process itself. Conducting the us is paying homage to the deceased. The Alaman horse race and wrestling between the strongest happen during the us. Other national games take place as well. The well-known master of ceremonies conducts the best us. One month ahead of the news about the upcoming us, it is distributed between the Auls, the settlements, and the Juzes, the tribes. Throughout the summer season, one of the bigger ases takes place. Kazakhs have a saying that without the toast maker, no proper as will happen. Back then, the substantial celebrations and ceremonies of the burial and the respected members of the community were called as. The saying relates to this meaning of the word. More or less important celebrations were always headed by the eminent toastmasters, distinguished members of their community, the people with profound understanding of the heritage, trees, and traditions. Familiarity with the reputable leaders were picked to be the Toastmasters. The person who knows who comes from what tribe and what his title is became a sought-after master of ceremonies. In today's show, we will talk about the tradition of us and the general attitude towards food in our culture. For the big us, Kazakhs use horse meat in the manner of dressing meat Serving and distributing it among the guests is a science of its own. Plying guests is a very gracious expression of our culture. Who gets what plate? What should be served to the elderly, the in-laws, and the youngsters? Each plate carries a certain message, and each plate shows a certain sentiment. In the practice of treating the guests well, the Kazakhs don't seek to satisfy their own hunger. The main idea is to be endowed, to be endowed for the nobility and lordiness. We are all treated by different parts of an animal in accordance to strict protocol called Sibaga. Traditions don't die, they thrive, renew and live within its nation. In the steppe culture, treating guests is a tradition that has reached its epitome. All the factors are accounted for here. The guest's title, age, impact, and duties. Based on these, a guest's weight and the level of the respect they deserve were determined. From the meeting side, the host's intentions, the food savor, the cleanliness of the plates were required. <laughs> For the significant as, Kazakhs used lamb, young horse meat, and mare's meat. For example, if a lamb was slaughtered, the main guest gets its head. Long missed, esteemed, venerated, elderly. In all the laws, they all get the honor of eating fresh meat, after which the receiving home gets a blessing. With its teeth removed and cleaned, the head plus the radial bone are served to the eldest among the guests. The radial bone saves the livestock. If it doesn't save livestock, it saves lives, the Kazakhs say. The piece of meat attached to the radial bone, the ancient Kazakhs used to call it a charm seal that protects from a curse. This probably was the reason for making the radial bone a must in the main plate. The outermost ribs, loins, and other pieces could be added to the plate, depending on how many guests you have to serve and how big your astal or your plate is. The plate that has the radial bone is called the main plate, bastabak. Sayahat is a Kazakh born in China who became a renowned Toastmaster. He is an ethnographer as well. He is meticulous about the importance of the asses that he conducts and the food that he serves. He revives the forgotten traditional meat foods. Today, he will show us the dishes made from horse meat. In particular, 
on the composition of the main plate. This is the hip bone of a horse here. We will cut off the most esteemed part called the jambas now. While removing the jambas, we need to go from the outer edge first. Here you have it. This is the jambas. Now we need to divide it into three. It is too big coming from bovine cattle. The jambas is divided into threes. If the jambas is smaller, it is divided by two instead. The jambas is a very revered kind of food. That's why it is usually served to the in-laws, to the long-lost guests. If neither of them are present, then the eldest person at the table gets it. Kazakh's scrupulosity shown towards food is not very common among other cultures. By serving the as, Kazakhs don't try to squelch somebody's insatiable hunger. It is a way to bring together two tribes and their people. Coldness. Coldness can be removed during as. This conveys the exact idea. Back then, even the enemies sat down for a dinner together. No wars happened over a shared plate. This law is not written in any documents, but it is followed from the place of respect towards the age-old traditions of sharing food on the steppe. Ortanjilgin alumuz gerek. Ortanjilgin algan gezde, da yaldimen fırpiyetin çıkar balamız. Now we have to remove the buttocks. Before doing so, we have to remove the muscles attached to it first. We should avoid using the knife twice at the same place. Otherwise, the meat quality will decrease. Hence, our knife has to be very sharp. Go straight to it. Here you have a nice piece of meat. This piece is the second most appreciated piece. It is served to the men in the house. In the yesteryears, it used to be served to wrestlers and warriors. In the culture of hospitality, each guest has their own plate with a designated name. The main plate, the middle plate, and the minor plate. The young couple's plate. The amount of food and meat served depends on the name and its receivers. After removing the jambas, we divided it into three parts. The middle part is divided into two more pieces. These pieces are put on a total of three plates. The jambas is served in the main one. Now what's left is the radial bone. This one is not served at the as, but rather it is kept to fill the plate next time around. We don't throw the great asses now like we used to before. However, we still cook meat and drink kumus. Our traditions revive. Seemingly, the tradition to observe ancient food codex is coming back. This is a horse leg. It has a shoulder blade and a radial bone and the back muscles. This whole part is called the back. A horse back or also known as katin, the woman's back because it is served to women only. The word katun came from the ancient Turkic word katun, meaning the wife of a khan, and never should be taken as a derogatory word, since it is the name of a hybrid woman. The back itself has to be divided further. Try to cut the meat into thin, even slices. Avoid jagged, jerky movements. Make sure to cut into the meat and fat with slow, straight strokes. This here is the shoulder blade. We have to remove the blade from its socket. Then, we pull the blade from the center. For the blade to soak up salt and cook to tenderness, cut it right here. This here is a radial bone. This is one that is also a rather trivial treat. 
part of a horse leg, it ends with a round head. We need to divide it in two. The leg has three parts. The third one is called karajalik. It is divided into two parts. The radial bone is divided into two parts. The blade is divided into three parts. We don't give much importance to these parts and only serve them when they are not enough high-value parts to serve anyone else. The most delicious dish made from horse meat is kaze. Kaze is an elongated sausage made from rib meat, seasoned and wrapped in the intestines and sun-cured kaze. It is served to the most esteemed guests. Few nations haven't heard about the Kazakh kaze. The neighboring nations show strong affection to kaze. Usually the head of the family instructs his family members in the following manner. We are going to have a very special, respected person tonight, cook koskaze. Ideally, the guest should go home and brag that he was served a kind of kaze made from the meat taken from two ribs, the most precious kind. Long back, when saharans didn't have seasoning, they used the wild garlic and salt. There is a plate that has the shank and the sternum. This one is meant for the son and daughter-in-law. This plate gets additional tenderloins, the back piece and the sirloin. They also get the heart and the tongue. This is another kind of plate. Methods of preserving meat in the long transposition of the nomads has survived till today and are widely used. Presenting the flavor and freshness of the meat when the winter and summers last for six months is a technological wonder in its own. Our ancestors used multiple methods of storing meat. Sun curation is one of the older, reliable ways. The knowledge about this method traversed generations and has reached its climax. The meat is to be dried in the wind and smoked in birch fire. Drying meat is becoming obsolete nowadays. To cure meat right, the butcher has to do a great job dressing the meat. He has to separate the muscle from the bone and not mix it up, to divide the bigger pieces into smaller ones. After that, he has to rub the meat with grains of salt and wild garlic to season it well. If there was no garlic, they used salt alone. He is to rub it in well, to wrap the meat in its own skin and leave it for some time. This last part is rather outdated now. Modern butchers used big metal bowls. Back then, leaving the seasoned meat for three to four days was normal. The salt infuses the meat and sometimes even the bones. Leaving out spots without salt leads to spoiling. <laughs> The Kazakhs and the horses are more than friends. Our ancestors were able to conquer and protect their vast steppe with the help of horses and fearless warriors. This puts the horse on a pedestal, and even poems were created about their importance. You ride a horse, drink kumus, and eat kaze. Since how long ago have the Kazakhs herded the horse? The science of the horse is a part of our culture and the essence of the steppe. Besides its meat, horses give us healthy milk. The healing properties of kumus were proved and acknowledged by many countries now. <laughs> Horse meat contains low levels of cholesterol and are highly nutritious. The four seasons in the steppe turn into six months of summer and six months of winter. And having a reliable source of energy is paramount. For example, in Arkan, far away in the Altai Mountains, our ancestors herded horses dressed in a coat made from wolf fur and horse jerky. The jerky provided the necessary nutrition and calories needed to keep the body temperatures up. <laughs>